welcome to Cole Spence back at you. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my <laughs> channel for more outdoor adventures with Nicole. But today I am out here in Cocoa Beach, Florida, my hometown, and I'm going to be doing a walk around around this new bay boat with uh, Jamie Glasner with Fin and Fly Charters. I know you guys have seen him in the past. Um, out here for Thanksgiving visiting Mama Dukes. Um, this is the new 25 foot Bay and Reef Key West Bay Boat. So uh, we're gonna do a little walk around so you guys come join us. And we got Jamie right over here. Say what? Jamie oh, Glasner! <laughs> Drinking his Red Bull over there. It's okay, I'm all hyped up on my coffee, right? My happy coffee. <laughs> Get pumped up! Get pumped up, Jamie! <laughs> All right, guys, so we are in the front of this bay boat, and I'm gonna kind of hand over the reins to Jamie and kind of let him explain to you. Super pumped. Yeah. He's super pumped. Yep. This so is we, his new bay boat. So this is the new 2021 Bay and Reef model by Key West. We got it from our good friends at Boat and Motor Superstore, Nick Furrow, out of Palm Bay. Check those guys out if you're looking at possibly buying a new bay boat. Um, we got it matched with the Magic Tilt trailer super beefy trailer got no complaints whatsoever it does have a trolling motor have not installed it yet it just came in due to coronavirus it's been a pain in the butt trying to get anything in as you know everybody's out of product because of the whole shutdown so it will have a 112 iPilot Minn Kota bow mount trolling motor right here on the bow as we keep walking to the back you got your Tandem axle trailer by Magic Tilt. And on the back of this beautiful bay boat, we have the Yamaha 300 XCA. Ooh, let's what not a forget beauty. the now, let's not just forget this Atlas jack plate. I guess we need to do another it. oil change. <laughs> <I like me. laughs> the jack plate. Oh, I love jack plates. This boat will top out at around 60, 61 miles an hour. Ow. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll it'll scoot. So we, we still are adding things on to it. We got electronics on it. Still got to put the battery bank chargers on it. Um, are you getting a tower, Jamie? Uh, we're doing a T-top. So nice. Our friends over at Sunshine Welding are making our uh, T-top mat over there. So how about we hop in the boat now? Uh -huh. I am so pumped. This thing is a beauty. All right. <laughs> Look at that. 300 horses. All right, so we just got inside the boat and now we're gonna do a little tour and Jamie's gonna give me all the ins and outs on this beautiful new Key West boat. So, starters, this is like where the anchor goes. Yep, it's called an anchor locker. Anchor comes locker. standard with an anchor. Also comes with a, you're already a trolling motor plug with the wires already ran to the front. You just gotta hook it all up or you have the dealership do all that stuff. So we just got done checking out this compartment. Let's check out this compartment. What would you, what would we, wow, what's this for? So that's a recessed for a bucket, basically. Oh you can just fit a bucket right down in there. That is so, I've so never the, seen a boat that yeah, has so, that. So the, the bucket won't slide around yeah. there and it just drops right into place. Wow, that's really cool actually. So this is like a storage yes, area. Correct. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, it's pretty big and everything. I really like that. Here, mm -hmm. let's go in here. We got in here. Okay, this is like a little live well, right? Yep, yep. It's a, the front live well. Okay. You keep your croakers, your greenies, pogies, mullet. This is a good size too. Pinfish, shrimp. Okay, awesome, awesome. What do we got over here? So these are called, uh, they're normally rod lockers. Yeah, look at this. We, we, we did it a little bit different though. Um, we like to store our, our fish when we're offshore in the rod lockers. So I had them insulate these rod lockers to where they'll hold the ice good. On top of that, they're plumbed to oh, where- Oh, so you put fish in here? Yeah, so you can put your fish in there. After you gaff your fish, you put them in here. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to worry about it, all the, you know, blood and 
nasty water draining into your bilge. We had it plumbed to where it plumbs and goes to the outside of your boat and it runs to all the way over to this other side. Okay. Which I'll show right here. If they can see it. Ah, there it is. There's two, those two holes right there. That's so for this, this rod locker, that rod locker. Look at it. Yep. Check it out, yep. Know? So we had them both insulated and everything to where they will keep the fish on ice nice and cold. That's cool. All right, guys, check this out. This is your cast net locker, which they've got the bucket one up here and they have a compartment for your cast net. So that's really cool. Fits your bucket and it has a drain. Yep, that is awesome. All right. If you also notice, all the latches have a lock. That's convenient. Except for the anchor. Wow, look at this big old bench. I can do some tanning and hanging out up here. It's nice and comfy. Ooh. And this thing opens up too? Yeah, hold, I have the cushion on there, so oh, okay. you gotta know how it opens up. It's another one of these latches. So okay. here you pull it up. Oh, perfect. Wow. Look at that. What, is this for fish? You, I, I'm using it for fish, so it's hooked up to a mass. Oh my gosh, so it's, it's huge. Yeah, so it's hooked up to a macerator pump, okay. which, you know, pumps it out to the side of the boat, which is awesome. This is also insulated. Um, you could almost plumb it and run plumbing to it and have this as a big live well if you really, really wanted to, but I'm gonna use it as a fish box. That is that is awesome, y'all. It's, it's, look how big it is. I mean, you don't have this usually on a bay boat, so. And, and to me, like most bay boats are 20, 23, 24 foot. This is 25, like that instantly caught my eye. Like 25 foot bay boat, I instantly was like, oh, I wanna know more. So this is awesome, I'm loving this. All right, you guys, you got some midship cleats. You got another cleat that it's actually hidden to where the rope slides down here. Forgot to show you guys that. Yeah. There's the front cleat. Cup holders, Cup holders on both sides. Oh, this is nice. Yep. Up to a fish. Yep, yep. That's that's something pretty cool. It's, it's the like bolster pads. Cleat. So that little cleat is actually for uh, the fenders for your little buoys that you put on the side of your boat from rubbing up against seawalls and stuff. And then on underneath the bolster pads, you have more rod holders. Um, I don't recommend putting your gaff in there because you know what happens in all the excitement when you're running to I've, fight a fish I've and you kick it. Do that. And, and you kick it. The leg. Yeah. Yeah. Scary stuff. You got. You keep your. I would keep it in like here you, or. Yep. All right. So yeah, we went over the cleat and we got a rod holder here. Wow, another cup holder. Back here we got four. These are always convenient. Like he was talking about with the gaff, uh, this is probably where I'd keep my gaff, just so it's out of the way and nobody gets hurt. Um, looks like we got seats. This is awesome. Let's see how comfy they are. Oh yeah, I can definitely see myself riding in style back here. <laughs> right. Oh wait, Nicole. What? There's more. What? Yeah, we got storage underneath. Oh my god, what? Look at that. No way. So much more room for activities. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got more that storage is, this under there. So much room and space. I this love is it. spring loaded, which is nice. That so is you very just push nice. that down. And convenient. Push it down. There you go. Boom. That was easy too. And there's two of those. Does that one have storage under it too? Yep, this one's the same thing. Another wow. jump they're called jump seats. Jump seats, okay. Got another live well. Yep, a live well here. Wow, this yeah. thing has so much uh, like storage compartments and space for just being a simple bay boat. Like I'm just blown away, I love it. It's just clean too. All right, what's back here? So back there we got more storage compartments. Okay. And then you got your pump or wires fed right through here, drains out. What about over here? On this side, you got another storage compartment right here. We've got our SureFlow blaster. Um, that's for our, our um, wash down, which you saw the hose in the live well. It's just thrown in there. It actually hooks up right to there. Raw water wash down. And of course, the beautiful Yamaha. <laughs> the Yamaha 300, 300 XCA. Yep. 300 horses. We need to do an oil change video. What do y'all think on the new? 
beautiful <laughs> Yamaha. <laughs> yep. All right, now if we do this, this is one of my favorite features, is the cooler right here. So, okay. if you look. It came oh, with wait. the cooler too? Oh wait, it's hitting this, but don't, don't worry. You pull this, <laughs> you, you pull this pin right here, Ooh. and it's on a track. Look at that. So you can open it all the way. Perfect. You put your drinks, drinks in there, sandwiches. ice, sandwiches, exactly. And then you just push it right back in, and, and it, it snaps locks. right into place. Wow. Okay, Pretty guys, cool feature. Check out these seats. I'm really loving how you can push them up and, you know, kind of lean back and sit, or if you want to pull them down and sit down. Yep. And there's a little foot step right here. So yep. you, you know, if you are in some rougher waters or it's like just, the, the wake is really bad or anything. You, just, you, you actually don't have any like a seat belt or anything holding you in, but you're able to hold yourself up and you're not like struggling mm -hmm. like you're gonna fall out. Awesome. Like, I feel I, safe. This right here, you keep your weights, any rigging, some leader and stuff, so it's easy, accessible. Obviously, you just put it away when you're done for the day. All right, so we got two cup holders in this compartment. Yep. And then down below you have wow. another compartment this under there. This opens too? Yep. Like dry storage, like just, you know, your you, phones or purse or money, you, wallets. That's awesome. And yep. it stays dry in there. Yep. Wow. And this then, is awesome. Yep. You got all your switches right here. You know, live well, yep. courtesy lights, your throttle, all that stuff. Tilt, st tilt steering. What? Oh my God, it is so awesome. Yep. No way. And then if you look into here, yes. oh my gosh, I've got all of our life jackets. Even, like, see that. I got all my stuff in here, but um, it comes, you can either have a porta potty right here if you wanted. Um, they've got these nice drapes that you can put some paperwork in here, or whatever you can do a, your little lure kits and stuff like that. Um, wow. Behind nice. here, I've got our two house batteries. Just because we run our live wells a lot, you know, uh, don't want to run down a dead battery and then not be able to start your boat. Um, the wiring job on this thing is awesome. Simply awesome. Another feature I liked about that was, you know, yeah, the boat's under warranty and everything, but sometimes you know how it is waiting for a part to come in. It, it can take a while. What's nice is these are all rocker, rocker switches. This is standard switches that you can get at like West Marine and stuff. Easy to replace out and fix real quick to get yourself back on the water until you get your other one back and you just have a spare basically. Do most bay boats have this storage compartment? I feel like this is not normal on a bay boat. So I believe some do, but this is the first one I've ever had that I has had this. And then up under here behind this curtain, you can actually put your three bank um, charger along with your 36 volt trolling motor batteries. You can see there's the wire down below right there for the trolling motor um, that runs all the way up to the bow. Um, I'm basically using this as just storage for life jackets and tackle and stuff like that along with our other compartments. So pretty cool. Man, you guys, this boat is just incredibly beautiful. I'm I'm sold. How and about y'all? <laughs> it's not even done. You. We still got to get it's our not tea top. Done. Yeah, they're getting a tea top made for this thing, but it's, I can't wait to see it when it's done. But all right, so if you guys are interested in getting one of these boats, a uh, Key West Bay boat, make sure you hit up uh, Palm Bay, Florida Boat and Motor Superstore in Palm Bay. Yep, Nick Burrow down there. He'll help you out, get awesome. you all set up. Get you all set up. They can fully rig I'll have your the whole link boat. In the description below for you guys as well, just so it's a little bit easier to find. Yep, and like I said, he'll fully, he can fully rig your boat. He can do base models. Guy can do it all. Awesome group of guys. So stay tuned, we're gonna do some test runs now. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button to follow more outdoor adventures with Nicole. I'll catch you guys on the water because we are about to do, go do some test runs. Stay tuned. Sure. Oh, I gotta get him a shrimp. Jamie. I got a shrimp. I know. <laughs> oh, now you're both going over. Don't, don't booty bump him. 
<laughs> he will go over for real. <laughs> I'm playing mate and captain. You're the angler today, Jamie. We're switching the roles. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy almost went overboard. Right. It's waterproof, right? No, not that one. Oh, crap. Oh, where'd he go? He went that way. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Don't do anything. He's hiding. Look at him hiding. Oh, sneaky little shit. Oh my god. He's got like some cool markings too. Look at him. <gasps> oh, he got it. Oh, he, got he ate it. it. He ate it? Yep, he ate it. Five, four, three. Did she get this all on film? Oh, yeah. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Is he? Hold on, I'm, I'm just letting him eat it. You saw uh, what happened on that last yeah. one. Yeah. Right? That's a bigger one than the other one, too. Look at him. Zoom in on that, mom. Oh my god. Get that. That's a nice one. That is a good triple tail. Can you see him? Here, try to get him to come up so mom can. It? Oh my gosh, what a beauty. Oh, let me get a little video too. Oh yeah, boy. Right, here we go. Oh. Sweet. God, look at that. He's beautiful. Captain McNick, Nick and Jamie Glassner with a yellow tail. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Lord. All right, that swoop. Yes. Hold up. Yo, whoa, that's a loaded down one. Holy. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. That's the biggest triple tail in Florida I've ever seen. This is like what we get in Venice. <laughs> no. I never see You're them. Bigger get this big in Florida, you guys. I mean, this thing is massive for a Florida triple tail. Those guys are so pumped over there. That thing is massive. I, I'm saying. All right, let me hear. So triple tail have like really sharp gill plates too. You can't just like stick your hand in there to grab them. And they have pretty big teeth. Okay. All right, guys, we just got done taking a couple of pictures. We're gonna put this uh, fatty in the live well. Jamie, congrats. This thing is a beauty. Ooh. Ooh, he's at least 10 pounds. So, there we so, go. There we go. Yeah. Watch out, he's gonna splash. Uh -huh. he's coming out. <laughs> there you go, guys. Out here on this new bay boat.